Finding something you're passionate about from a young age uh, that just gets you excited, something you want to do. I think that's huge, pushing you to, you know, finish high school, go to college, and then it does just teach you, like, time management. People are always saying, like, oh, girls can do what guys can do. That always seemed ridiculous to me because I feel like, why does it need to be reinforced, like, obviously? Kaylee Johnson, the senior with the putback. When you see, like, little girls who are so excited to see you, who really think you're a celebrity, like, it really humbles you. And uh, it makes you really grateful to be in this opportunity. And it gives you this platform where you do want to be the best role model you can be. When you know people are looking up to you, like, you don't have time to slack off or you don't have an excuse. And uh, it kind of takes me back remembering, like, when I was in like fourth grade, going to just the community college in my town, seeing these, you know, these college athletes, I'm like, wow, I want to be them. They, they did seem like the celebrities. I started sports just because it was something I was always around, and I wanted to be like my big sister, and she played basketball, so I wanted to play basketball. But then it grew to being more about relationships I was able to build. What a pass by Sneezik and the finish by Carrington. That was pretty. My dad played football and my brother played football and so I just wanted to be like my family and so I decided to just try it and I mean I was athletic and, and so I tried it and I really loved it and all the guys on the team at first they were like what what a girl girl and then they loved me and and the coach was like run like a girl you know they always say don't run like a girl but you guys need to start running and playing like a girl and they were like yeah, you're right. And so I think from then it was just um, knowing that you can do anything with anybody. And I played on guys basketball teams and girls basketball teams. Um, it was just at, at that point they I think they started to build that respect that it's a sport and if you're if you can do it well, it doesn't matter if you're a female or male. It's just crazy to see how how dominant athletes or female athletes specifically can be. And yeah, I mean, obviously things like the income gap between men's and women's, WNBA, NBA, and all, all sports definitely needs to change. And I think those are things that can, can be progressively improved over time. A message I would like to keep giving is, you never expect you're the best player, you're the one who should be here, but it's so cliche, but hard work can, like, you can go wherever you want with hard work. Hard work really gives you opportunities you wouldn't expect.